Hey YouTube, so I'm like I haven't got any comments or anything about why I haven't been making daily videos, but I just haven't been doing it because I felt that I'm gonna be honest with y'all, like I know I promised daily videos, but I wasn't really getting anything out of it. I was just posting like rambles and, and so on and so forth and what I'm eating. I'm sure like I don't know if you guys even like me doing daily videos, but um uh the ones that I posted uh, daily was more just about me talking about me and what I did for the day it wasn't really about like stuff that can help you guys out or that can help my channel out um, with viewers and whatnot so I just really just didn't post uh, as much uh, for the past what five days well no, it's been that long I posted on Sunday and what today is Tuesday that I'm recording this so you're gonna see this tomorrow on Wednesday but anyways, I've enough to, enough of that. Um, I've just been really focusing on applying to jobs and really just trying to get me a, a job because you know the one at the moment I really just I'm working one day of a week because you know I really don't like the company. Um, we literally just got a new GM like literally uh, and within one year, we went through, this is the fifth GM, within one, one, within one year, can you believe that? And it's like, it's, it's like, it's a franchise type of restaurant and it's basically everybody knows everybody and it's like favoritism about promotion and, and all of that stuff. Um, the new GM we have now, he seems cool, but my issue with, with what I'm having was since basically almost a year ago um, like almost a year ago um, like basically when you fill out the application and everything and bitch I read that shit like I read that application and they give you basically a 30 day period um, they call it a probationary period but in reality that's just what the contract says um, they're, they're not really gonna abide by it unless you really like do really something wrong but they give you 30 days to see how you do. And then after that, you know, you're given like a 25 cent raise. And this job is minimum wage plus tips. I got my evaluation like a month later, a little over a month, a little like a little over a month later. Cause you know, the guy was very unreliable and I have to keep reminding him about it. Um, and I have that in writing still to this day. And I didn't receive my 50 cent raise. And yeah, it's 50 cents, but still I haven't received it. And I brought it up to, like, to basically, um, I called, like, their headquarters, um, and then I was told by, like, district manager, like, I basically got, um, threatened to be fired for that, which is wrong, you know, don't, you know, don't threaten somebody, you can't threaten somebody in the workplace, um, and it was just a whole bunch of miscommunication, um, because I called higher ups because I thought it was a mistake on their behalf. When in reality, the GM that wrote this raise down, and I have a copy of still, my evaluation, didn't even report the raise to his boss. So, and then I just basically told the story to the other four, well, the three GMs. I haven't really told it to the new one yet. And I haven't gotten it, like, ever since. You know, I haven't received a call from you know the headquarters or nothing and I called I left a message haven't received anything back so back the end of the day it's hurting me it is hurting me because I need money I need money and I have to pay my rent I have to pay my bills and I'm not about to risk my rent and my bills over something that's on their part so I need to figure something out or I'm just gonna have to work more days and then once I get a new job I have to quit I had a job interview today um, at a restaurant, and the first GM, like, I mean, you know, he was very nice, apologetic. I mean, really, he was tired. It really didn't seem like he was into the interview, but he was very nice to me, and he gave me a thumbs up. You know, everything was cool. Second interview, I felt like it was a more of an interrogation. Like, really, um, it was going well. You know, the guy asked if, I, if I'm okay with shaving. And I was like, yeah, you see, I like that you asked me that up front because that's, that's the question I was going to ask you during the interview. I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm cool. He was like, you want to think about it? And I was like, no, I'm cool with it. And then we just started going with my work history and so on and so forth. 
And then he gonna ask me if my job that I have now, that I'm telling you guys about, if they know that I'm leaving. Like, who are you to ask me that? Like, he asked me that, and um, I was like, well, I have discussed my concerns with them. He was like, well, what are your concerns? Like, how's that, like, how's that your business? Then he wants to know, then he asks if I'm reliable in my own time. And I'm like, yeah, I'm reliable in my own time. He was like, well, what's your, what's your transportation? I was like, a car. And clearly he didn't realize that I showed up this morning, met with, met with one of his employees who's a manager, um, and had an interview at 10 o'clock. And then it came at the same day on time, on time, actually early before, before the time. And like, it just seems like he didn't really believe me when I told him, like, he just looked at me like when I said, yeah, I, I show up to work on time that he really didn't like really see that. So then he asked, like, the interview was still going well and smoothly, but then he asked for references and he wanted to call the job that I have now. And I told him, sir, like, I would not want you to have a reference from the job that I have now. We just, we're going through a management um, replacement and we just got a new management, you know, from Monday. And he was like, okay, well, let me call your previous employer. And I was like, 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 I declined that too. And he was like, well, what can they possibly say, like, like something wrong or what can they possibly say something bad about you or whatever and I just told him like I'm not I don't want you to do that uh, but I was open to giving him references but when I fill out the application online I wasn't told you know for references or anything so he was like okay well I'm gonna be interviewing other folks so I just basically got up I didn't push my chair and I just not rudely I just I just like just wanted to get out and I just walked out and I left um the job which, I mean, I'm sure I would have never got anything to it. The job basically is two 13 hours a host, plus tips. And the place was empty as hell, which I understand it's Tuesday, everyone's at work. But I'm not about to work a job where I'm not going to be getting, like, paid. You know, he was. then he asked me, like, about how much per week would you like, you know. And I, I, I was like 400, like $400 per week. That's, that's reasonable for me, you know, at the moment. Like, you know, I was like $400 a week. But it didn't go well or anything. So that job didn't go well at all. Um, I did apply to other places and then I got responses. Um, one is like a healthcare thing and that's for last minute, very last minute. The email you're talking about, they have a, um, uh, interviewing like fair tomorrow at like seven in the morning and that's in the city and this is for like this is for the healthcare industry and you have to have a degree which I have and it's basically clinical trials you're basically um, you're setting up appointments with with people who have different like issues um, and different issues and these people are actually seeing actual doctors and um, whatever it is, it can be with your, your skin, it can be with your whatever, whatever they specialize in. So um, my, my duty is basically to be someone that work at their desk and schedule appointments and, and do clinical trials and see what's wrong with the person and then have that, I guess, sent to the doctor, so on and so forth. But I'm not really into that. Like, I'm not really like, I don't know. Like, the interview is tomorrow. I didn't RSVP the interview for 7 a.m. Um, in the morning. Uh, yeah, so I don't know. I may do it later on today and then just go tomorrow and make it a big excuse saying I had work and I couldn't really see it at, you know, until I got home. But uh, that's basically it. I'm still, I'm, I'm keeping positive. Like, I need, I just need something where I can pay my bills. I may just add more days on my schedule at the job that I have now because... I'm going to have to pay my bills, like regardless, regardless if I haven't received the wage that I was supposed to receive when I first started the job, like I still need to pay my bills, like I still need to. Um, so I'm going to need to call like the GM or something, the new GM and talk to him about it or something. Um, but anyways, I will talk to you guys later and um, also I'm interested in maybe doing like a Q&A. So if you have um, any questions you want to ask me, leave it in the comments below and I'll do a Q&A and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.